In this video, we're going to be talking about pulmonary emboli, how it's treated, and when do you need a procedure called a thrombectomy? That's when we go in and remove those clots. Pulmonary emboli is a life-threatening condition, and it happens when blood clots, usually from the legs, travel through the veins, through your heart, and end up landing in the pulmonary arteries. Our heart has a right ventricle and a left ventricle. So the left ventricle is the bigger one because it has to pump the blood to all your organs, your arms, your legs, and then the blood comes back to the right atrium and goes to the right ventricle. The right ventricle is smaller because it's pumping blood only through the lungs. But the truth is, it's the same amount of blood that goes to all your organs and extremities that will come back to the heart and the same amount of blood has to go through the lungs. So when a large amount of clot goes from the legs and blocks the circulation in the pulmonary arteries, essentially it's blocking the circulation of blood through your entire body, it's limiting it. Usually presents with a shortness of breath, which can be sudden, but sometimes it can get worse over a period of several days or even a couple of weeks that people may have a hard time noticing. And if the clot is really large, sometimes people may just collapse and sometimes they could even die before they reach the hospital. And how long are you treated with blood thinners for pulmonary emboli? Usually the answer is at minimum six months. But it will depend on what was the cause of a pulmonary emboli and if you have predisposing factors. Usually, if somebody had a recent surgery or a long plane ride or is on hormone replacement, which are known causes for pulmonary emboli, we don't worry as much and just treat the cause. But patients that have a PE for no good reason, and if we can't find out why, sometimes we recommend that people will stay on the blood thinners for life. Thrombectomy is a procedure that became much simpler in the last few years. And it's essentially a fairly easy and quick procedure that takes probably 30 to 40 minutes to do, thanks to the new devices and catheters that are available today. Essentially, during this procedure, we insert a catheter through the groin. We then carefully navigate all the way to the pulmonary arteries. We inject some dye to see where the clots are. And then this catheter has to, the ability to aspirate and effectively remove all those blood clots. We usually recommend thrombectomy for patients that have a large blood clot, usually causing hemodynamic problems, meaning that the heart is having trouble beating against the lungs. This is Minimally Invasive Insights, and I'm Dr. Fabio Conos.